With nearly 2 billion kilometers deployed around the world, optical fiber is the backbone of today's most advanced telecommunications networks. Fiber is assembled into optical cables that link continents, cities, and neighborhoods around the world. This thin, flexible strand of ultra-pure glass is capable of carrying voice, data, and video information in the form of light signals at very high speeds. Let's take a closer look at this revolutionary transmission medium. Optical fiber is very thin. One strand is about the diameter of a human hair. It is comprised of two basic elements made of glass, the core and the cladding. The core, the center part of the fiber, is the area through which the light signals are transmitted. The cladding layer completely surrounds the core, keeping the light from escaping. There are two different types of fiber, single mode and multi-mode. Single mode fiber has a small core diameter designed to carry light in a single path over long distances. It has high information carrying capacity and low attenuation and is the most widely deployed optical fiber in the world. Multimode fiber has a larger core, which allows light to travel down many paths simultaneously. Typically, multimode fiber is deployed in data centers, local area networks, and storage area networks where it is more cost effective than single mode fiber. Corning invented the first low-loss fiber in 1970 and has continued to deliver significant performance improvements for the past 40 years through continuous innovation. Three key attributes that can limit the speed or information carrying capacity of the optical fiber are attenuation, dispersion, and bend-induced loss in the form of macrobending and microbending performance. Attenuation refers to signal loss along the length of the fiber. In this illustration, the light gets dimmer as it travels down the fiber. It can be caused by the quality of the glass itself or can be induced by bending. Dispersion is the distortion of a signal along the fiber length. This occurs because different spectral components of the optical signal in the optical fiber travel at different speeds. In this example, different wavelengths are represented by the red and yellow light. Macrobending and microbending are optical effects that occur when the fiber is bent from a straight axis. Microbending is an attenuation increase caused by high frequency small radius bends along the length of the fiber. Macrobending is the attenuation associated with bending or wrapping the fiber. Both of these conditions can allow light to leak out of the fiber, meaning some of the original signal is lost. Using a bend in sensitive fiber like Corning Clear Curve single mode or multi mode fiber will greatly reduce the loss caused by macrobending. Optical fibers operate on the principle of total internal reflection which keeps the light within the core and guides it down the length of the fiber. Refraction refers to the bending of light as it passes from one substance to another. The glass used in the fiber's core has a higher refractive index than the glass used in the cladding, so that the light can be trapped in the core by reflection at the cladding interface as it propagates down the length of the fiber. Two additional characteristics of single-mode fiber that are important are cutoff wavelength and mode field diameter. Cutoff wavelength is the wavelength above which a fiber will support only a single mode. Wavelengths below the cutoff support two or more modes. The cutoff wavelength is determined by the fiber's refractive index profile, the length and bend of the fiber, as well as the cabling process and deployment conditions encountered during use. In a single mode fiber, some of the optical power is actually guided outside the core. In fact, as much as 30% of the light propagates in the cladding layer of some fibers. The mode field diameter defines the size of the optical power distribution in the fiber. Multi-mode fiber has two important characteristics, numerical aperture and core size. Numerical aperture is the measure of the angular range of acceptance of light into a fiber. The angle over which a fiber accepts light depends on the refractive indices of the core and cladding glass. Core diameter is a fundamental design parameter of multimode optical fiber. The larger the core, the more modes of light can propagate through the fiber. Multimode fiber has a much larger core size than single mode fiber. Optical fiber is strong, flexible, and reliable. Inch for inch, it's stronger than steel and more durable than copper. Fiber offers excellent signal performance over a wide range of environmental conditions. Since fiber carries light instead of electricity, it is unsusceptible to lightning strikes or electrical faults, and unlike copper, it does not corrode or rust. As a result, fiber reduces maintenance costs and has a proven record of reliability in the field. 
In fact, it is common for customers to report to Corning that cables installed in the late 1970s or early 1980s are still in use today. Optical fiber is cost-effective, durable, and scalable, has low attenuation, and it features the superior transmission quality needed for high-speed transmission of voice, data, and video in today's leading applications.
Okay, today we're reviewing the splicing procedure for the S178 and the S123 Vital Fusion Splicers. Stephen will walk us through the procedure for fiber preparation and splicing. The first step in the procedure is to make sure that the heat shrink is applied to the fiber before we start doing the work on it. The second step will be to strip the fiber. We'll be stripping the fiber approximately an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter long. And you'll notice what Stephen is doing. He's angling the blade such that the fiber remains in a straight line. It's very important to do that so that the fiber is not micro-stressed. Stephen is now going to take and he's going to clean the fiber. And he's going to clean it once, twice, maybe three times until he hears a squeaking sound. Now Stephen is going to take the fiber and lay it in the cleaver. The cleaver that we're using has the three channels. Uh, the first channel being a 5 to 20 millimeter channel. The middle channel is for 125, 250 micron fiber and it has a cut length of 16 millimeters. And the third channel is a 900 micron or uh, pigtail splicing channel. So Stephen will lay it in the channel at the 10 millimeter mark and he's going to close the clamp on it and we want to make sure that the fiber extends beyond the far pinch rollers and sits across the pads nice and even so we're visually looking at it to make sure that it's, it's straight. When we close, we'll close the, the cleaver and Stephen uses two thumbs. One thumb will be pushing down on the drive and the second thumb will lift up on the, on the lid. We want to make sure that we don't do that twice. You only want to do that once. We want to make sure now that we get the fiber in the splicer with minimum uh, damage to the end of the fiber or no damage to the end of the fiber. So Stephen will put it in uh, the clamp and he'll extend it beyond the electrode and pull it back such that the fiber is still exposed beyond the electrode and uh, in beyond the electrode and the blue V groove. And Stephen closes the clamp on it. We'll close the lid. The splicing will now take place. There's a pre-arc cleaning. Now the splicing takes place. And we have a 0 0.02 B, 2 dB splice loss. Now, Stephen, when we open the lid, a tension test will take place. And you can hear the motor drives to tension it. Now, Stephen will take the, the fiber out of the clamps and he'll try to keep the fiber in a straight line and make sure that he doesn't bend it at this point. Put the heat shrink over the fiber, hold the fiber straight and place it into the heater oven. Now it will shrink the heat shrink. And now we have completed the splice. There are several types of fiber optic connectors available today. The most common are ST, SC, FC, and newer small form factor MTRJ and LC style connectors. All of these types of connectors can be used with either multi-mode or single mode fiber. There are three main types of polishes that can be applied to a fiber connector. PC or physical contact, UPC or ultra physical contact, and APC or angled physical contact. Each polish type exhibits a different level of back reflection. Back reflection is a measure of the light reflected off the end of a fiber connector. This light is measured in decibels. In certain applications, the amount of back reflection on a fiber connector is critical.